we have three equations with three unknown axes. Those are the formulas. The three unknown axes are unknown, but we want to set a1, a2, and a3 in the first equation to this set, in the second equation to that set, third equation to this, and we want y to be these values. So these are actually hard-coded values. But in order to do so, we can use a matrix approach. The matrix approach solves this this way. It creates the inverse matrix of the data in A. And then it finds X by using the inverse of A and Y. So how do we perform these calculations? Let's do that in a series of steps. First, we are going to invert matrix A. This is matrix A with the array function matrix inverse, M inverse. It's an array function. That means you, you get multiple answers. So we select all the cells that are going to hold the answers. We call the matrix inverse function for the range C6 through E8. Don't click on OK, but do Control Shift OK. If by mistake you had done, I'm clicking back in the formula bar, I had done Control Enter, I would get a bunch of value problems. Only the first one is OK. So I correct my mistake. I click in the formula bar, Control Shift Enter. The next step is that we are going to multiply those two matrices with the array function matrix multiply. Again, it's an array function, so I select multiple cells. And I find in there the function M mult that says I want array 1 C6 through E18, that is the inverse array, correct, and array 2 is C10 through C12, don't forget control enter, and these are the X values. We did this in two steps, I could have combined those two. I could have nested matrix inverse inside matrix multiply. I did that here in a combined action. So the formula is basically in array 1 is the matrix inverse version of C6 through E8. And array 2 is still the regular one C10 through C12. Control Shift Enter. And we get these results exactly the same as those results, but we did it in one step with a nested function. I can even nest more. If you don't like a vertical array, but a horizontal array instead, you can make this a horizontal array by using the transpose function. The transpose function is also an array function. So transpose works on M mult and M mult works on M inverse. So we have the formula equals transpose the matrix multiply based on the matrix inverse function. And we get the perfect result in there that gives me the correct values. To make sure that my operations were correct and gave me the correct results, I'm testing the outcome by multiplying with what I found. So I actually did in the first cell here, I did this cell times that one, the second one times this one, the third one times that one. And I found in there exactly what was to be expected, 9, 9.231. And for the second one, the result is the same, and the third one, the result is the same. So somehow my operations gave me the right answer in solving three equations with three unknown axes by using a matrix approach.
You probably need to know much more to tackle this kind of situations, solving, etc. So I developed three CD-ROMs, two books that tackle similar kind of situations more extensively and in order to become very professional with Excel you need more background. You can find these CD-ROMs and books on genesispc.com.